To this day, the building still lies derelict in the middle of Port Rush as just an eerie reminder of the Dunluce Centre and its once iconic attraction, Turbo Tours. Thank you for watching. So yeah, I made a video on the Dunluce Centre Turbo Tours. It went well, and then literally four days later, the whole complex caught fire. Today, we're going to look a little bit into what happened at the Dunluce Centre last night. For those who don't know much about the Dunluce Centre or are keen to learn more, I have a full video on the whole history of the Dunluce Centre and its Turbo Tours ride. So check that out, as I'm not really going to talk much about the history of the place, but more about the fire. At around 8.26pm on Monday the 8th of August, firefighters were called to the scene of a fire at the Dunluce Centre after bystanders spotted smoke coming out of one of the sections of the building. This area, from info that I can gather, was the area that housed turbo tours. The effort to put out the fire began immediately since the fire station was literally only located down the road. However, more fire engines from nearby towns were required to help put out the fire. Overall, it took six fire engines and 46 firemen to put out the fire. The PSNI were also called to help out. However, despite this, firefighters managed to successfully get inside the building very quickly and control the fire. The fire was put out successfully within a few hours. The building does not seem to have severe damage to it. But I'm pretty sure the inside where the fire began is probably absolutely destroyed and unfortunately that most likely means that Turbo Tours has been destroyed in the fire. Even if it was not, it probably was still severely damaged. Unfortunately, I think this is the final nail in the coffin for the Dunluce Centre and I'm pretty sure it's going to be torn down by the end of the year. However, there might be a big question lingering on your mind. How did this happen? I have three theories as to why the building caught fire. One theory is that this was an arson attack. I doubt it because all the doors are locked and most of them have been covered up with bricks except one and that was the one the firefighters used and it was locked before. So it makes an arson attack frankly impossible. Another theory is that this was caused intentionally by the council. I also doubt that because they would have let the building continue to burn in a controlled fire. However, the most likely theory I have three is that this was an electrical fire caused by faulty wiring within the building. It still seems kind of strange that there was an electrical fire because the building has not been using any electricity for the past couple of years. Which is kind of strange, but I don't see anything else causing this fire. Now that is about everything we know about the fire at Dunluce Centre. Once we know more, I will definitely make another video, and when I'm down in Port Rush, we'll have a little look at the damage in a special video. However, for the time being, we've been told to stay away from the centre. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.